Hi everyone, my name is Professor Shirey and I'm going to be working with you this semester for English 104. English 104 is Freshman Composition 3. And the primary focus of this particular course is kind of extending, expanding on those base skills for composition and writing that you worked on in English 103. We work with expository text, which is informative text, and we are really building, uh, the assignments are built to help build your critical thinking, critical reading skills. Quite often, good writing is a result of good thinking. And so that's part of this class, is you're going to be doing quite a bit of reading, academic reading, informing yourself about a particular area. Now this particular class is built into three units. All uh, the first two are meant to scaffold into the third. So the three units are uh, research proposal, and the second unit's annotated bibliography, and the third is the final submission of your essay. Now the essays, I mean research proposal, each are considered an essay writing. However, all of them are building to one large persuasive research essay, which is due at the end of the semester. So all the assignments within each of these units are meant to be building and scaffolding into that final submission. Everything we do is built toward that one big persuasive research essay. And it is an argumentative, uh, argumentative essay, which means you're gonna have your stance and support your stance and you're also going to address a counter argument within it um i think that's it for the course kind of content um let's talk about the format of this course this course is a high flex course i'm pretty excited about it because it's a semi-new format but high flex is in what I deem is the best of both worlds, the best of online and, the, and you still get the face-to-face. -face. So high flex means that we have everything online. You, you have the option. If you want, you can do this course asynchronous online and we never meet in person. However, a lot of students like the face-to-face -face and they want to meet in person. So we do have that built in if you want it. But attendance is not required and it's also not part of the grade. So for this particular class, we meet face-to-face -face once a week and you are welcome to come every single session or you can choose to come to the sessions you feel you're gonna need that face-to-face. -face. Or sometimes students choose to just go completely online. The in-class portion, I'll be doing lecture and I will also, you know, obviously be answering questions, helping, whatever needs to be helped. Sometimes we do group work. A lot of times one of the assignments we'll do together and then you can just post it on the Moodle page. But um, if you miss that in class and you don't do that, that's totally fine. The assignments are not different. You're still going to have to post to the discussion forum, still going to have to submit whatever the assignment is. The face-to-face -face is meant to help you or give you that in-person interaction. Some, some people just, for whatever reason, process information better in a face-to-face -face live format. And that's why we offer both options. You can either do it online, you can do it face-to-face. -face. It's two for one special, as they say. I will make every attempt to upload the lecture portions of the class time every single time on Moodle. So even if you couldn't come in person to those class sessions, you'll be able to watch the class session or part of it. I won't record the entire session. I'll record the lecture portion where I'm talking about information. I think that's it for format and content. So let's take a look at our Moodle page. I'm going to share my screen. A couple of things I want to point out to you. So right now you are here. Welcome message from Professor Shirey. So it doesn't matter when you're watching this. Maybe you've already come to class and now you're watching it or you didn't come to class or maybe it's before classes have even started and you're just getting a jump start. But anyways, you are here watching my message. This is 
Uh, the content, uh, there are four other items in this section. So these are documents and I want you to read and review them. Now, on everything in the Moodle page, <clears throat> you will see on the right-hand side, boxes that allow you to check your progress. So there's two types of boxes. One is a solid frame box, which means you, need, you are able to check it if you want. And then there's a dotted or a dashed box. That means there's a criteria associated with it. And the system will do it automatically once you have met the criteria. So for example, okay, my label, it wants me to look at my label. Yep, sure I did. I that's a self-check. Uh, I watched my video. Sure, that's a self-check. I can So on the solid boxes, I can check and uncheck. But that tells, I, I check them because then it tells me, oh, yep, I did that one. The dotted ones don't let me do that. In these two items, syllabus and schedule, the requirement is you read them. So what you have to do is you go into the document, you have to download it. You'll see right down here in the bottom left-hand corner, it downloaded. Then you open up that document and you can read it. And the reason why you're reading this is it contains important information that students should really know. If things like grading scale, how what grades are weighted accordingly, late policy, withdrawal policy, all those kinds of things, good information is in there. And then the course schedule, of course, tells you the schedule for the semester. Now, after I log out and log back in, you'll see both of those will now be checked because I have completed, I have read and viewed them. Okay, um, Moodle and other course technologies. These are other things you are allowed to self-check. If you choose not to look at them, I will probably not say anything. Uh, however, remember where they are. Now the Moodle video tutorials, there's eight of them. A lot of times they're video and they tell you how to do things like how do I delete a file on Moodle? How do I do diff form or discussion boards? How do I find my grades or feedback on Moodle? These are things that if you've not used Moodle before, you may not know where to find these things and those are meant to help you. Again, I understand you may not wanna watch all eight of them at, at one time and that's understandable. Just remember where they are though and uh, as you check it off, okay? And then informative PDF, if you wanna sync your Moodle course calendar to your Google calendar. I know a lot of us use Google calendar to keep track of due dates and events and, and just activities in our lives. And if you wanna sync the Moodle calendar to that, so it's all the same, so like it'll tell you when due dates are coming, those kinds of things. There's a PDF that tells you how to do that, okay? Then there's two required activities. So none of these are actually required for anything. I mean, this is just how the check boxes work. So you can see the check mark appeared because I read the syllabus, I'm checking and unchecking at my leisure here. However, these two items have the dashed, which means there is criteria. And then they say required, which means, oh yeah, I gotta do them. These two items are gonna have a grade logged in. So you need to complete these items. The criteria in order for the check to appear, you need to get 100% or you need to get all the questions correct and you have to go all the way through the lesson. So you have to have gone and viewed every single page in the lesson and answered every single question correctly. Then the check will appear. So the lessons are not typical. It's just meant to give you some important information that I think will be relevant to you. So you can see here's a content page, here's an information page. So after this, there's a question, right? Okay. And let's, let's pretend I'm gonna answer it here and I'm gonna submit. Oh, wait a minute, it tells me that's incorrect. So it gives me the option. Yes, I'd like to try again. No, I wanna go on. I, I recommend you try again because it's not gonna open the next modules until you get those checks in the boxes. So make sure that yes, I'd like to try again and do that question again, okay? Now these are all the information pages, but the questions are kind of interspersed throughout. So make sure you go at least the first time in order. And so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna quick show you here. So like this one, okay, I got it right, we're all good. 
this is an information, click here for the next page, but there's no questions after that one. No problem, I just, okay, I'm gonna read the information, read the information. Now I have a question. Now that question may have been on that page or a couple pages prior, I don't know. Maybe I can't remember if there's a textbook required for this course. So I'm gonna go back and look at, oh, wait a minute, here on the menu, textbook and required materials. I'm gonna read that one again, okay? I'm gonna take a look, oh, no, no textbook required. It's all OER. OER means open education resources, which means you do not need to buy a textbook and it is not required. So that way now I can go and answer my question and move on, okay? That's how the lessons work. You have to go all the way through. You have to look at every page, you have to answer every question and you have to get all the questions correct. Once you've done that, it's, it's completed, a check mark will appear. Now, I mentioned a minute ago, why do you need those check marks? Well, number one, it's great in the grade book, but they're not difficult. It, it's really meant for you to show me you are participating and engaged with the Moodle page. So what has happened is I have set the requirement that none of the modules will open to you until these two have been checked. So these two have to have a check mark, then module one will be accessible to you. You, you will be able to get into module one. So on our Moodle page, we have modules. And what I usually do is a module per week. I open them on Sundays and I usually manually do it, but the first one is already open to you. I open it plenty early for those of you who want to get a jump start and just kind of get a feel for the course. So module one is already open and available to you. However, you can't get access to it until you complete those two items in the start here section. So that's why you want to get those done right away. As I said before, uh, module one's open and all module items, with the exception of forums, forums are different, with the exception of, exception of discussion forums, all items with the modules are always due Sundays by midnight. Now, when you go through the lesson, it's gonna talk to you, discussion forum postings are due Wednesdays. That's the exception. Everything else is always due Sundays at midnight. But my point to you is module one, those items are going to be due Sunday, uh, September 12th. So you're going to want to make sure you get this, this, these done so that you can get in there and get your stuff submitted. You don't want to start by submitting things late for partial credit. Okay. The other thing I wanted to point out on our Moodle page are our resources. So we have this box up here. It's SMC Student Support Services. And this has a plethora of resources for you to look at, access, all those kinds of things. There's additional Moodle resources with technologies if you want to learn more about Moodle or figure out how to do something. Uh, technology support links you uh, to our help desk if you need help. Maybe your computer's not working the way it should be. You're not doing something right, uploading, downloading, I don't know. You want to reach out to tech. Uh, the one that I'll probably be referring to the most for you is called a writing consultation. You're going to have to engage in a couple, two or three of those mandatory in this course for writing consultations. And those are through the TLC, which is Teaching Learning Center. And you're going to find that information here in the Library and Tutoring Center. So this, if you go here, Teaching Learning Center, they give you videos of how, you know, what are consultations, how do they work, et cetera, et cetera. And then they have the appointment link. So I would recommend watch this video and this video first before you make your appointment. And then you go to the appointment link and you can make your appointment right there. So, oh, sorry, it's asking me to log in again. That's just because I timed out. Normally you won't have to. Once you're logged in, you're good. It'll take you right there. All right, back on our main page again. Uh, remember, I alluded in the beginning that I want you to feel free to reach out to me. One of the biggest things is I want to help you. I want to enable you. And although it's high flex and you will see me in class once a week if you choose to come to class and meet me face to face, you, that does not mean you can't meet with me outside of the classroom or we can meet via Zoom uh, if you prefer not to come on campus or not to meet in person. So these are the days and times that I am available every single week. And on that day and time, I am 
in my office. So if you wanna come and see me in person, you're welcome to do that. Or if you prefer, you can just click on this link and I, I will have the Zoom room open and I'll be there to talk with you live via Zoom. So you have lots of opportunities to connect with me. Remember, even if you choose to take this class uh, online, in other words, you choose not to attend in person, that does not mean we don't talk or we don't communicate or we don't meet face to face, it's just we're gonna do it via Zoom. The other item for that is, oh, something with that and I've forgotten, sorry. Oh, I remember, if these days and times do not work for you, simply reach out to me and um, you know when you need to meet, we'll make an appointment and I'll meet with you. Uh, whatever works with your schedule and my schedule, we will find a time together uh, for whenever you need it. So just reach out to me via email. I think that's it for the Moodle page. I think I've gone over everything, hopefully. hopefully. Oh, nope, two more, I just see. So I will send you a weekly announcement. I send them out every week and the weekly announcement is going to come in your email. It usually gives a little bit of a recap of reminder of, hey, these things are due and then a preview. Okay, this is a heads up for what's coming up in the next week for a module. All announcements will go to your email box, inbox, and you can also, if for some reason you delete them out or you miss it, you can also click on this announcement right here and it will give you a listing of all the announcements that I have posted through the semester. I, they are saved there. Every time I send them out, then they are logged there. Uh, the other item is a discussion board. It's an information exchange or FAQ. This particular discussion board, the FAQ board is meant for you to connect with your peers and for you to ask each other questions and help each other. Just like when we're in the classroom person face-to-face, -face, a lot of times you can just reach across the aisle or reach to the guy next to you and say, hey, you know, where I, I didn't see where she pointed, where is that at? And they'll help you out, right? That's what this is meant to be. You can reach out to one of your classmates, any of them, whatever, you can, it's an open post, and just post questions like, hey, you know, I don't know where to find this, or how do I do that? Or where do I go for a database tutorial, that kind of a thing. And then anyone in the class can answer you. As a general rule, I do not get involved in this particular dis discussion board. And uh, the only time there's two instances I get involved. One, if someone has posted incorrect information, I will go in and correct it. Or if they've posted something inappropriate. And then, yeah, I, yeah, I go in and address it, uh, delete it, and then there are consequences. Okay. I think that's it for the Moodle page. So let me stop share and just talk at you a second before I end. My word of encouragement to you is I am here to help you. I'm here, whether you come face-to-face -face, uh, once a week for, for the class session, or you don't attend in person, but you do everything online, or maybe you're doing a combination. Maybe one week you come to class, the next week you decide not to, you're just gonna do all the stuff online, okay? It's all good to me. I, I, I'm pretty agnostic on that. Attendance is not part of the grade. Participation is part of the grade. And you are participating by engaging in our discussion forums, uploading your assignments, completing your work, uh, being active on our Moodle page. So uh, reach out to me if you have any questions or concerns. I'm here to help here to enable you to get whatever grade you desire for this class. So I want to empower you that way with whatever you need to be able to achieve that. Also, I would prefer that you communicate with me before rather than after. So if you anticipate a problem or you are having troubles right away, communicate, send me an email. Email is the fastest way to get a response from me. I'm, I'm pretty, pretty quick on the draw with that. And I, I would appreciate that just because then I can help you more. There's nothing worse than if you wait until after something is due and then you send an email, well, I didn't understand or I didn't get it or I, didn't know how to, or, or I lost my internet or whatever. Um, yeah, then I'm not as much of a good grace and mercy because it's after the due date. You need to let me know those things before the due date. And then maybe if, if needed, I can accommodate or 
even better, I will help you or answer your questions so that you can complete it on time. I think that's it. I'm trying to think if there's anything else uh, aside from officially welcome, welcome to English 104. I hope you enjoy our time together. And I'm looking forward to maybe meeting some of you in person with our first session. But even if I don't meet you face to face, I will want to meet you in the introduction forum. So make sure you post in that. That's in module one, by the way. So get your lessons done first. Um, I can't think of anything. I just wanted to make sure I didn't miss anything. So I will end the way I end all of my announcements with my tagline of, as always, uh, let me know any issues or concerns, questions you have. I am happy to help. Have a great day.